Hello everybody, Ben here, and today I'm going to do a video about my visit to the Tallinn Railway in Wales. This is their logo on one of their coaches. Yeah. Well, here you can see inside the cab of number 7, Tom Ronked. While looking from outside of the coach, you can see backwards towards the yard and the main line. Coming towards the loco shed now, we pass number four, Edward Thomas, pulling a rake of coaches out of one of the sheds there. While there was also the track maintenance vehicle, Toby and Midlander, and passing some wagon, skip wagons full of ash, I believe, and also some coal, you can also just about see a glimpse of number six, Douglas in its RAF blue livery for the RAF 100 which was back in 2018. However though you may be able to see once that's actually gone past that the loco shed is quite empty I guess that's because number one's away and number three, four and seven are out today and then if you know a bit more you can see number two down there Dolgok. This station here is Rydadoma Rhododendron I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced but you can see there that's what the station looks like and I think it looks Quite nice, actually. Coming up now is the bring glass block post, which is where the crew can put in a token to move along the line, while here is some very scrap metal that was on the other side. Now here, as we're approaching bring glass station, you can see that is sort of a similar style, and you may be able to notice all the stations are on the same side of the track, so they only have to have doors on one side of the coaches. Something interesting to me is how the buffers move in and out of their shanks as the train moves along. Coming up in a second is the Dongwok Falls Viaduct, which, as you might be able to tell, is quite high really because I believe it's like more than 50 feet or metres tall and you can just about see the falls down there below at the very bottom of the valley. This station here is Dolgok, which I would say is my personal favourite and here we can also go to the falls as you might be able to tell by that, by that sign but also here is where the locomotives stop to fill it with water from the water tower. Further down the line there was this random piece of scrap metal that looks like a boiler or a sort of saddle tank. I'm not exactly sure what it is. This here I guess is called the guest house. And here we're now passing number three Sir Hayden, which was on the track next to us, pulling a rake of coaches. While here is Abergonolwyn, which apparently is one of the longest station, narrow gauge stations in the world. Not the longest, but one of them because it can apparently accommodate two train lengths in its sort of platform. And as you may be able to tell, it is quite long. Mm -hmm. 
nearly at the end now we can now see this building here which is the Aberganolwyn block post. Coming up now is the end of one of the old inclines which served the railway and you can see there's a wagon turntable and some old winding wheels there as you may be able to tell. Some rusty wagons. And a diesel pulling a maintenance train. Because we'd reached Abergan Alwyn, which was at the end of the line, Tom Roll obviously had to uncouple so it could run around the train and head back down the line to Towin. And because now Tom Rolt had uncoupled, I got to have a view at the sort of back of the train, which is what you see here, because the coach we were in, which was coach 20, had windows at the end. Surprisingly, the logo I showed you at the beginning of the video also actually was on coach 20. Somehow that was a big coincidence. We then had to wait for number four, Edward Thomas, to pass us with a train. And I was able to see it heading down the line. And then we passed over the Dolgot Falls Viaduct. Coming past the loco shed, now we can see number three, Sir Hayden was waiting for us. And you can also see the carriage shed was completely empty, even though it didn't seem a particularly busy day to me. At the museum at Tawin, now we can see they had this large model of Edward Thomas. 
and you could also see inside of this Fletcher Jennings loco. And they also had this weird looking loco. And this one too. As well as a lot of nameplates. And a wagon from the Oakfield quarries. And not a smart looking vertical boiler loco, which I actually really like and I really want to make a model of it, but I wouldn't know how to. And some builder's plates for Hunslet and Bagnall. This unusual looking transporter wagon, which would transport narrow gauge wagons on standard gauge wagons. And also this quarry Hunslet here. If you want to see more quarry Hunslets and a quarry Hunslet in action, click the video in the top corner to see my video about the Barlow Lake Railway from last year. They also had this wagon, which I guess is called Dorothea. And inside that, they had the number one's snap coupling rods from 2014, I believe. There was also this tiny little looking loco, which had an appropriately named name, which is called Dot, obviously. And this thing, this sort of equipment, which looks like it would go inside a signal box. Here you can see Tom Rock being loaded with coal and also the, re the sort of main line there and the rest of the yard as well. Well, here is some unusual but nice looking prototypes. Here is sort of some large models of Tally Lynn and a prototype station for Nant Gwinnell and a smaller version of Tally Lynn. Now here is actually the Reverend W. Audrey's own model for the locomotives that worked on the Scalloway Railway based on the prototypes that worked at the Tallylin Railway. And it was also, we've got Donald there and also this unusual looking single wheel loco. Also in the museum they had his own layout, which was the Farquhar layout. You can see various different locomotives on there. And of course, Thomas. You could also see various different things in his study you can see sort of I think that's Winfred or Wilfred I can't remember and a model of City of Truro there's various books or pictures of number four as Peter Sam and also a head plate headboard and also the, a relief map of the island of Sodor thank you for watching this video by me please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below some video ideas or feedback thanks for watching goodbye